go. Let's go. Let's go into the market. That was really cheesy. Welcome back to another episode of Bahai Kubo. Today is all about patola. And that's actually the first time we actually use a vegetable that's in the song. Let's go. Hi, Bo. Hi. May patola, Bo. Ano yung iba? What's the difference? Ba? This one. Yung lasa may. The same naman? It's more or less the same, uh, right? The long terrace of each, yeah. Perfect. You'll be a you'll be an artista soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Bye. Okay, lang. that's fine. Salamat. Good, let's go. Bahai Kubo, kahit punti ang halaman doon ay sari sari. So, patola has another meaning in Tagalog. It's actually used as a term to refer to something else completely than just a vegetable. So to put it in a sentence, I just wanted to respond to one of my biggest supporters and fans, to all you people out there that comment all this stuff on my page. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for making me such a big part of your life and taking time to write on my pages. Thank you so much. So Mark Valdez, this is for you. So Mark Valdez says, talking to me, obviously. What a dumb <laughs> You Filipinos are dumb. Your chicken joy you made looks so dry and you call it a hack. You gay Filipino dog eating stupid and you can't even speak Tagalog. What a cultural ripoff and Filipino loves you, love you? You dumb bitch. You can't cook for shit. you and all you Filipinos. Okay, first of all, Mark Valdez, I'm pretty sure you're Filipino because Mark Valdez is a Filipino name. So Mark, for you, I'm gonna do this just for you. Mark, bakit sobrang galit ka? Gusto mong magsalita ako sa Tagalog? O oh, ito na yun. Sabihin mo sa akin anong problema mo. Baka matulungan pa kita. Ayan, binigyan na kita ng break. Kagatin mo pare. Chill ka lang pare! See, so there guys, used in a sentence, patola ko. It's all about the patola. So patola was actually in the song, so I sang it. Play that for a second. Kundol patola upot kalabasa. You're welcome. I know my singing voice is absolutely amazing. So I've got two different types of patolas here. These are fruit. They actually are fruit. Not a lot of people think they're vegetables. These are fruit. Um, and you can only eat them when they're super young and unripe. The fruit comes from a plant, I believe, called lufa. I'm gonna mess this up again. It's akatulanga. Akutangula, that's the right way to say it. And this is gonna blow your mind. It blew my mind when I was researching it and I thought it was awesome. You know how, okay, we call this a lufa in English, right? Or you call it, I think, a ridge gourd also. Some people call it a ridge gourd. This, when it gets super ripe, it gets super hard and dry. And then the inside is super fibrous, so you can't eat it anymore. What do you use it for? You actually use it as a lufa. This is the lufa. I had no idea. I thought a lufa was something synthetically made that just looked like the inside of this, but it's actually this. So this mixed with soap can make you a very clean person. It's extremely popular in Asia. When eaten raw, they say it's really good for calcium, vitamin B. The leaves of this can actually be used and juiced, put in people's eyes when they have conjunctivitis. Its seeds can also be made into oil. The oil is great for skin ailments or just used as a lotion. And finally, its leaves can cure hemorrhoids. So as tasty as that sounds, I hope you're really hungry because one of my favorite recipes uses lufa. Oh, broke. One of my favorite recipes uses lufa. So let's cook miswa. So today we're making a miswa sepatola, one of my favorite soups that I used to eat growing up. It's actually really simple. I mean, it's all about building really great, humble ingredients into 
a fantastic dish that carries so much flavor and history for it for me, lots of memories. The way I'm gonna do it today is probably not the way it's done traditionally because this is kind of a soup usually that comes together in one pot. I'm gonna do it in multiple pots simply because I like to control the heat and control the texture of each of the different ingredients that are going into it. But when you look at it, honestly, it's just like a five minute process. It's really fast and it's really easy. So we're gonna start by building our aromatics first. So just garlic, onions, pretty basic. Then we're gonna go ahead and dice one onion. And finally, the last process of cutting, we're just gonna go ahead and prepare our patola. So I like to remove that first really thick outer layer, but I keep some green in it, so I don't clean it completely to where it's just white and green and looks like a cucumber. So you, when you have some of this, all we're gonna do is basically cut it in about half an inch or a quarter of an inch discs so that it cooks nicely. We're not gonna sear these, these go straight into the broth and then just cook until they're nice and soft. Next, two pots on, really simple. A little bit of coconut oil into my frying pan. You could make meatballs out of this to kind of have more of like a, a meatball and a noodle kind of soup, but I like to have uneven pieces of pork because I like to have some that are crispy, some that are nice and just fatty. And you don't have to cook them all the way through in the pan simply because they're gonna cook down with the broth as well at the end. So I like making like uneven little pieces just like this. As long as they keep some sort of separation, it's fine. But I've also seen the soup with just purely kind of like detached ground pork. I'm gonna season the pork with a little bit of fish sauce and some black pepper. You wanna be very careful with the salt in this recipe and the fish sauce and all that because some of the miso noodles sold locally are already salted and made with salt. So I'm just gonna let that brown. In my bigger pot here, a little bit of oil again, and then we're gonna to toss in some garlic and some onions. Just mix all that gently. Now we're gonna throw in our broth. Pork broth would be the one I recommended. Let that simmer. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw in our patola, and that should just take a couple minutes to cook down. We're just looking for it to get nice and soft. At this point, you can taste it, figure out if it needs anything more. A little bit of fish sauce for me, and then a tiny more black pepper, and then we're just gonna balance it out with a little bit of salt. So in terms of ratios, it's really up to you. Like, a lot of people growing up doesn't, don't really like this soup simply because the potola, when it's cooked down, is a little slimy, and then you add the miswa, which are really slimy noodles as well. But once you get over that texture, that flavor is really good. So it's really up to you if you want it to be more soupy, more noodle forward, more sticky comes down to you. So if you add your noodles and you feel like the noodles are absorbing too much of the liquid in the soup, then go ahead and just chuck in a little bit more water. All right, this is what we're looking for. You see the vibrancy of the green really comes out nicely. And then the white inside is still pretty much intact. And that's the texture that you're looking for right before finishing off. This means it's about two minutes off. And that's just the amount of time that we need for the noodles. With noodles, I found that you always use way too much than you need. So I'm gonna start with a really small amount. These kinds of noodles are so thin that it's really gonna take just literally two minutes to cook. You wanna check the noodles, make sure that they still have some bite to it, but they're properly cooked. That's where I want it to be. And eventually anyways, with kind of that heat that's still propagating through the soup, that's gonna cook down ever so slightly in increasing amounts. So we're gonna go ahead and plate, and while I'm plating, we're gonna to cut to a sexy food montage. All right, simple, delicious, and reminds me of my childhood. Let's give it a taste. You want that broth to be really complex and full of nice flavors. That's delicious. I, and I feel like the coconut oil makes a huge difference in terms of the flavor you get. I actually like it. Some people don't like coconut oil because it's so strong, but I enjoy it, especially with patola. Let's try the pork and the noodles. Really good. And then finally, the star of the show, the patola. Perfect. I love simple recipes like this. And if you guys enjoyed it too, that's cool. But uh, please make sure to support the channel and go ahead and like the video, subscribe, comment below. And for everyone out there, just don't be a patola like me. Peace out.